so let me ask you a question do you remember a video that i made almost about uh, two months ago on the zte me favor ui and i tagged it as the craziest rom ever for the u euphoria well i take my statement back because today on the u official forums i found a rom named as rise ui so i thought that okay so we have a new rom which is ported from different device maybe a device that i don't know uh, it will be interesting to check out the new ROM, but uh, when I downloaded it and when I checked it out on my own device, I learned what kind of ROM it is. And so yeah, this ROM truly is worth of getting the tag of craziest ROM ever. Uh, actually, craziest way we that uh, this ROM is just out of the world. This is this is the, you guys yourself want to just see it as I'm going to show you in the video. I was myself so surprised as well. I'm making this video for you guys so that you guys never download this ROM or install it on your device. So yeah, let's just not waste time and let's get started with another Euphoria video and get into business. The business thing, business, business, business. So yeah, this is Joel Dito here from Freaks and Geeks, and today let's look at how you can install. Though I will not suggest you to install Rise UI on UU Euphoria. Let's get started. Okay, so I think that most of you won't be doing it after the intro that I gave and after learning what this ROM may offer you. After you see this video, you will know what this offers you. So if you still want to go about it, so let me tell you that make sure that your UU Euphoria is rooted, which most of you might have already done by now and you have a custom recovery like TWIP recovery installed on your new euphoria then if you are on any ROM just you have to do power it off power it off and press the volume down button and the volume up down button and the power button together so what this will do is that this will boot your new euphoria into the custom recovery that you have installed so i have TWRP installed over here so the links for the ROM will be given in the description box below so download it from there and store it on your internal storage or your micro SD card and do tell how you like the new background I have changed the background and it I think it looks pretty dope from here just go to wipe select advanced wipe and go to Dalvik system data and cache and after you're done just swipe to wipe uh, you may not take a backup because uh, really uh, if you are running on any ROM then taking a backup is not necessary but if you are running on an original OS then do take a backup then hit install and then as you can see rise UI 2.2.2 dash one that's nothing else so we are select on rise ui and we are just gonna hit swipe to confirm flash so this will take about it will fail the first two times but if it fails then try it in the third time so i'm telling you this the third time it's gonna pass so it happened for me it might happen for you as well so just informing you guys beforehand so yeah after we are done with this we are just gonna hit back and then we are just gonna hit reboot and hit system so this will boot your device into rise ui as you can see we are up booting the first thing that you will notice is the xiaomi mi ui 7 lock screen yeah that's right this device i don't know what the developer has done but this device seems to be running on MIUI 7 based on Android 5.1.1 but when you unlock the lock screen you are gonna see something different let us go ahead and unlock the lock screen so as you can see we are in the home screen so this is the home screen so let me adjust the brightness a bit so as you can see this the status bar is also exactly like the MIUI 7 as you can see the super issue I don't know why the logo is like that so let's just reduce the brightness a bit so that it can be visible to you guys okay I guess we are done so as you can see I think that the icons are just like Xperia OS but it runs on MIUI 7 if you guys don't believe me I am gonna show you that let's go to settings so as you can see MIUI type settings exactly a copy of MIUI so let's just see what we have let's go to about phone and let's go to system updates and as you can see this is indeed running on MIUI 7 uh, 6.5.12 that's the old version of MIUI so as you can see U5010 and here Android version it states 5.1.1 Rise UI 2.2 I feel like laughing I have been laughing all throughout the video What is wrong with me for God's sake? 
and this is the one of the most craziest rom that I've ever seen. I think that he has actually mixed up everything from every rom. Let us see from what all rom we have. Uh, this widget I pretty much like it. It's uh, likable I would say. A uh, time widget pretty decent for time widget I guess. Let's just see what all apps we have. We have the movie creator track ID. We have Scribble uh, app from HTC. We have me account as you can see. We have Do It Later Explorer. These are all HTC apps. Going to security, we have the MIUI security, the old one, which I hate the most. Don't know why the developer has kept this even. Uh, we have updater. Let's look at what kind of camera we have over here. Okay, so we have Motorola as well. So this is Motorola camera. Nice. So how many ROMs did we have? We have the HTC one. We have Motorola. We have Xperia, and we also have MIUI. Outstanding work, developer. Pretty decent. Next what we have, next what we have is go to music app. So yeah, it gives you the Walkman. As you can see, we have the Walkman app. And let's see what else do we have. We have, let's go to, what else? We have recorder. Okay, so this is the MIUI recorder. Pretty good. <laughs> calendar. Oh, this time we have the, uh, I guess this is the HTC calendar. Do I have not used the HTC device before? Let's just go back and let's see. Okay, we have the okay MIUI Messenger. The icon pack is for Sony, and the Messenger inside we have for MIUI. Outstanding. Okay, we have Dolby Atmos inbuilt, but that's the only feature that does not belong to a particular ROM. We have FM radio support. What's next? What's that? Let's see what's next. What the hell is this thing? I don't know what this thing is. Let's see what dialer. Okay, we have the MIUI dialer, and it's gonna check for info because I'm not logged into my Google account. Let's just go back and yeah that's pretty much it guys so let's just look into settings pretty much what else do we have okay nothing much we have the basic MIUI controls uh, theme support uh, but the best thing about this ROM is that you can use this as a daily driver if you really want this ROM does not have any bugs so not to worry about that the thing is that this ROM uh, supports VoLTE I uh, I have been using this ROM for about uh, one day yeah one day it had been over one day that I've installed this ROM. The thing is that this ROM supports VoLTE, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. VoLTE supported ROM. What else do we want, right? In the age of Geo 4G, what else do we want? We have the offer till March 4th. Uh, I guess March 1st. Yeah, till then we can enjoy this ROM, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it from here. Um, I hope to see you in my outro. Yeah, do watch my outro, guys, please. Come on, yeah. I don't know. Um, what else do we have? We have calculator. Okay, let's see what was calculator. Oh, we have news as well. Let's see what we have in news. What the hell? Uh, guys, if you know that which to which, oh, we, uh, yeah, it belongs to Sony. Outstanding. Oh, yeah. And also to show you that uh, the launcher that I was using, it is a default launcher, guys. As you can see, we have the default Xperia Home. So don't think that I am installing a launcher over here and just blaming the developer. So all the apps that you can see are by default every uh, F thing is default contacts and dialer messaging everything is given by default so don't think that I'm fooling you guys because I never do see my outro now I ask you guys what do you think don't you think it's awesome don't you think the developer has done an outstanding job because he doesn't have any job in his home he has just taken things from different different devices taken some from Sony taken some from MIUI taken some from use own, own OS and made that idiotic boot animation and just put them into a single ROM and given it to a new name called Rise UI so that people get attracted and thereby install this ROM. So yeah, that's why I'm making this video because I want to, you guys to be aware that what ROM to install and what ROM not to install. So yeah, do not install Rise UI. You will be fooled guys. I am telling you do not install Rise UI. I just wanted to make this video. If you want of course you can install. I, I will be giving the links in the description box below. And as you can see I showed you how to install it. So I hope this you enjoyed this video. And I hope this video was really if helpful to you. If not it, I guess it made you aware of what ROM to install and what ROM not to install. So if this was do give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more videos on the UU4 the immensely popular Redmi Note 3. I showed you a video. The links will be here, guys. For the Mi 5, Android 1, and a lot more devices which are gonna launch in 2017. So I hope that you enjoyed. And until next time, see you in my next video. And yeah, oh, I forgot one thing. Do good and be good. Peace.